All right, in today's lesson, we're gonna look at scale drawings. And today's goals, there's a lot of them. We want to explain what a scale drawing is and also what its scale means. And also, we're going to go back and forth between a scale drawing to find actual distances and going from actual distances to find the scale distances. So what is a scale drawing? You can see on the top here, these are examples of scale drawings and the bottom are not. You're going to notice they're accurate, they're two-dimensional representations of an object, but they don't have to include every single feature of an object. So how can we describe the scale for a scale drawing? It's going to tell us how the links on the drawing relate to the links on the actual object. When we're trying to find the distances, we are going to use the scale, and I'm going to show you a couple examples of how to do this. So here might be a new scale model of your kitchen. And right here, it's using the scale one half inch represents three feet. If you're asked to find the perimeter of the kitchen in real life, you can use this scale to help you do so. So the first thing we probably want to do is find the perimeter of the kitchen just by the measurements on the scale. So if we add three and one and a quarter, three and another one and a quarter, we're gonna get eight and one half inches. So we know that the scale is one half inch represents three feet, and you have a couple ways to do this. We're going to eight and a half inches, so I might notice that in real life, if one half inch is eight, goes all the way to eight and a half inches, it's 17 times larger than that one half inch original. So if we do 17 times three, we think that it's going to be 51 feet in real life. You may also want to try to scale from left to right. And notice that here, when we have one half inch to three feet, if we initially ignore the units, the one half to three, it's six times as big. So if we make eight and a half times six, we're gonna get 51 but this time we're in feet, not inches. So again, you can double check that it's 51. All right, one more problem. This time, we know the real life measurement of the van and we're trying to find how long we should make it in a drawing. So the van is five meters long in real life and a scale drawing uses the scale four centimeters represents one meter. How long should the van be on the scale drawing? So we're gonna check using the scale four centimeters to one meter. We're gonna scale it up because in real life, that van is five meters. So again, I'm just going to kind of compare them. Here's a couple easy ways to compare. From one meter to five meters, it's five times bigger. So we want it five times as big as the original scale. We think it should be 20 centimeters in the scale drawing. All right, there's your summary for scale drawings, lesson seven.